Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I will be talking with you about how you can configure Microsoft Outlook to your PC. Now currently I am using Microsoft Outlook 365 but uh, if we see from version 2010 the interface is kind of same so the way I will be doing settings for the email configuration it will be same for the previous version as well. Now here in my Outlook you can see I have configured not only the student ID that is uh, from Microsoft but uh, the personal Microsoft ID and another ID that uh, I have configured from GoDaddy server. Now why I am showing you this because I want to tell you irrespective of who the mail provider is you can configure your email ID in Outlook client. If you want to configure the Gmail ID, you can even configure the Gmail ID as well because Outlook is just a client application. In fact, it is one of the most popular client application in the whole world. Now I will show you how you can configure the Outlook on the fresh installation so that you should not have any doubt and confusion in your mind. So I will be minimizing this one and I have a virtual machine here in which I have already installed uh, Microsoft Office. So I will be configuring the Outlook 365. Now let me just find it. And here we go. Now as soon as you install the Outlook, you will be watching this kind of interface. Now it is irrespective of which OS you are using. So in case of Windows, it will be same. Now we need to click on get started. Now it is activating. Now it have already found my account because I have already signed in to my Microsoft account from Microsoft Word. If you didn't, then you can simply add new account. So here we can click on add other. Now you need to provide your account name. Now let's say I want to configure uh, my live.com account, which is again from Microsoft. And I will also show you how you can configure your Zoho mail or maybe GoDaddy account. Just be with us. We need to provide here your email ID. Then click on continue. Now here you can see the Outlook client could not actually able to find the service provider and to my surprise the service provider is Microsoft itself because the live.com is the domain uh, service provided by Microsoft. Now what here we need to do we need to select like which service provider actually it is. In live.com I believe it is outlook.com and now I need to enter my password. The same you need to do and then you can click on add account. So here you can see I have successfully added one, my account. In the same way you can even configure your Gmail ID as well. So let me just show you. I will be typing my Gmail ID. And now I need to click on continue and here we go. I just need to allow access to our Outlook line. Click on allow and here you can see the account has been added. Now I will be clicking on done. Now I can see all my mails start coming in. Now you can send mail to your colleagues. 
let me just send a mail to my another id test and that id is also being configured here so in this way we can test both uh, send and receive test so i clicked on send now i should receive email to this id so before that let's just see whether the mail has been sent or not so mail has been sent now we should receive this mail id here and as we can see we have already received the mail so that's all guys in this video from my side if you have any questions or doubt then do let me know in comment down below and i will try to reply you as soon as possible in our next video, we will be talking about how we can configure our signature in Outlook. To see these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.